Hello from my creative corner of creation. And I'm coming to you with the Tag Tuesday tag. This is the 10 questions. Tag your it tag. So I'm going to start. They're all about kind of crochet related. And if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the question on my phone. First question is, are you a morning star or a night owl? I am a night owl. Definitely. Number two, what is your favorite time of day to crochet? That would be evening or night. What crochet items would you, number three, what crochet items, no, I was getting confused, that's number four. Number three, have you ever attended a crochet or yarn event? No. Where I live, they don't really do those. Because it's always hot here, so, no. Um, four. What crochet item would you suggest to sell at a craft fair or online? I would say amigurumi. I just think those are so cute, and a lot of people love them. And they would sell, but I would say really anything, but maybe like sets, like bath sets or something, or kitchen sets, like kitchen towels, kitchen rags, um, kitchen scrubbies, kitchen um, washcloths, or bath washcloths, some that are softer, or something, or like face scrubbies. Something like that. So, yeah. But that's not really even from my experience. That's from what I've seen other people say online. So, yeah. Just take it with a grain of salt. Five. Do you snack while you crochet? Mmm. I snack before and then I might like stop and put it down like on the couch beside me or something and grab a like piece of chocolate or something and put it in my mouth and then start crocheting again but not like eating chips or anything like that so I guess yes but nothing messy number six how do you choose your colors for your project It depends because sometimes I'll choose, I'll just have colors and I'll be like, okay, these look good together. I want to, and then I'll figure out what I want to do with it. Or I'll have in, I usually have in mind the project, the kind of project. Like if I want to do a blanket or if I want to do a hat or something. And then I'll just go find it. Or... I'll either see, if I see a pattern online and I'm like, oh, I want to do that, or I have to do that, or in a, in a, um, magazine or something, I'm like, oh, I want to do that. I'll just go look and I'll see what they've used for their, um, what colors they've used. And if I like those, I'll see if I have something similar. Or I might go out and buy it if it's not too much. But usually I'll try to just find colors that I like. And colors that coordinate together that I have. I just look through my stuff and see what I like. And what I like goes together. And I've been told before that I have good color sense. So I don't know about that. But if somebody thinks it, then okay. <laughs> Um, number seven, how do you stay motivated between big projects? There's two ways. One, I'll, um, do smaller projects. Like, if I'm doing an afghan and I want to make another afghan, but I'm like, I don't want to do something that big, I'll do, like, a scarf or a cowl or a hat or something that's small. And another thing that I do is I watch 
gone content on YouTube, like crochet YouTubers or knitting. I do watch some of those, but I don't knit. <laughs> um, okay. Number eight. What two colors of yarn would you choose? Would I choose? What two colors of yarn would I choose? Right now, at this time, probably a pink and a blue. A light blue and like a, a hot pink. Um, nine. Where's your favorite place to crochet? Right where I'm filming this video on my couch. And what crochet project have you made that you would make again and again? Okay. These are some, this is one that I would make again and again and that I have made again and again. It's granny squares. The actual big granny, one big giant granny square that you just keep adding to. I've done that many, 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 many times. And little squares, the little granny squares. I'm doing that now. And just anything granny square, I love it. And I'm doing, I'm actually doing my first cardigan. It's the granny square cocoon cardigan. And it's just one big giant granny and then you fold it and you seam it. So that's the one that I would do over and over again, granny square. Just traditional, old school granny square. Nothing fancy. But I love it. Have it memorized. And that's all. So who am I going to tag? I tag Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. Donna from Melfina's Magic. Terry from Nana's Crochet Ideas. And Melanie from A Hook to the Left Crochet. And anybody else that wants to do it can do it. Anybody. Consider yourself tagged if you haven't been tagged. So, happy crafting and God bless. Bye.